Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to another PE class. For today's class, we are going to practice throwing, catching, and invisible rope jumping. Okay. For this class, you're going to need a pair of socks. So if you don't have one, go get a pair of socks. You will also need a game card, which was at the beginning of this video, which is also probably hosted by your teacher in your Google Classroom. Um, and you're going to need several other things. You will need a hundreds chart, which I do teach you how to make at the end of this video in case you don't have a printer and you can't print out the game card, that's fine. You will need a random generator, random number generator. That could be a dice, uh, but it doesn't have to be. I have options for you. That could be a playing card from the numbers ace to six. If you don't have this, that's okay also because at the end of the video, I teach you how to make your own random number with uh, number cards, okay? So that's all you need for this card, for this game. So I'll go over how we start playing, okay? Um, number one, let's take our socks. Let's make our sock ball, okay? Stack the socks, one on top of the other. Roll it up from the toes. Roll it up from the toes to the ankle. The ankle is where the opening is. Wrap up one of the openings, the ankles, and then use the other opening to wrap up the whole sock ball. And there we go, you just have to Play with it a little bit to make it more like a ball. There we go. That's a pretty good sock ball. You can do some throwing and catching with this. Okay. Um, and the only other thing you're gonna need is a clean, a safe space. So here's my space. You can see, it's my, it's my space safe. And it looks like I left some items on the ground. I'm gonna have to go pick them up. Okay. We don't want to step on them, trip on them, or break them, or just fall into places. Right. Like, bump into them and then trip and then fall onto something and hurt, hurt ourselves. Remember, next thing is just make sure you have your personal space. Here's my personal space, okay? If I'm playing with someone, I just make sure that I'm in my bubble and they're in their bubble. Okay, that's all you need, okay? Um, let's go over what we have to do for the numbers we generate, okay? So, my sock ball is ready. If I generate the number one, I have to throw and catch one hand on my right hand, okay? This is my right hand. My right hand looks to you, it's on your left, but it's, on my, it's my right hand. Here's my right hand. Throw and catch five times if I generate the number one. One, two, three, keep your eyes on the ball. Four and five. If I generate the number two, I throw and catch one hand with my left hand. One, two, three, four, and five. If I generate the number three, three says throw and clap and then catch five times. Here I go. Catch, that's one. Throw, clap, catch, that's two. Throw, clap, catch, that's three. Keep your eyes on the ball, nice soft hands. Throw, clap, catch, that's four. Throw, clap, catch, that's five. Five, okay? If I generate the number four, we're doing invisible jump rope. We're doing high knee jump ropes, okay? Uh, slow. If I generate the number four high knee jump rope, 10 times, slowly. So that's just turn your rope and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. If I generate the number five, I do the same thing. High knees, but this time faster. Okay, I'm gonna just turn my rope to begin with. I'm gonna turn my rope and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's number five. If I generate the number six, I do an invisible jump roll. Five times on one foot, five times on the other. Okay, here I go. I'm gonna turn my rope and go. One, two, three, four, five, switch. One, two, three, four, five, and that's 10. Okay, so it's five on each foot, okay? Let's get started. I'm not gonna use the dice today. Let's put that away. I'm not going to use my playing cards. I'm going to use my homemade number, number cards, okay? Okay, let's get started. Let's put them on the table. Let's mix them up. First one, oh, I dropped one, put it back up. I choose this one, number five. Number five is um, invisible jump rope. Invisible jump rope, high knees, fast. Okay, so 
Here it goes. High knees fast. Ten times. Ready. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome job. Okay, now it's number five. I go to my hundreds chart. And I move down five spots. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna circle this time. I'm not gonna cross out. Today I'm gonna circle. So I'm at five. We have a long ways to go to reach 100. We just have to keep going, keep going, okay? My numbers are down. Here I go, mix them up, mix them up. This time I'm going to grab, uh, let's do this one here. Oops, back to number four. Four says, four says, invisible high knee jump uh, 10 times, slow. Get invisible, high knee jump ropes, 10. Slowly, here we go. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, that was number four. I move down four spots from where I was before. I was at five. One, two, three, four. I'm at nine. I'm gonna circle nine. I have a long ways to go. Let's keep going. Let's see how long it takes for us to get to maybe, let's try and get to at least 15. Okay, mix my cards up. Mix my cards up. And this time I'm gonna choose this one here. Whoa, I have the number six. Number six says, one foot jump roll, five times each foot. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. Here I go, ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it was not bad. And the good thing is we can move down six spots, which is awesome. Okay, I'm at nine. Okay, let's count six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm at 15. Let me circle 15. Let me do one more. I want to do one more just to see where we can end up at. Let's see. Make sure your cards up. Make sure your cards up. I'm going to put them on the bottom. Let's go with this one here. Number two. We have the number two. Number two says, oh yeah, I like this one actually. Uh, throw and catch. Left hand, five times. Left hand, five times. Here I go. And five. And let's move down two spots. I was at 15. I moved down one, two, I'm at 17. Okay. And we just have to keep going. I mean, you have to just keep going until you get to 100. Okay. If you want to, you can also stop at 50. And tomorrow, the next day, go to 100. Okay, so do your best, have fun, um, just keep going. Try to try to keep going every day to 50 or 100 and see how long it takes. The better you get at this, the faster you'll go. Okay, have fun. I'll see you next time. Hi boys and girls, for today's PE class, we're gonna play a game called Race to 100. For this game, you're going to need two things. If you don't have these two things, don't worry. We're gonna make an option for that, for them, okay? First thing you need is this game chart, okay? You're gonna need this 100 chart that I'll teach you how to make. You can either have your mom or dad print it out, or you can make your own. So let's make our own just in case. That's the game that we're gonna play, okay? We're gonna make this hundreds chart just in case you can't print it out and you don't have a printer. All you need is a piece of paper, okay? And a pen or a marker. I have both. I have a pen and I have a marker. So I think I'm gonna use a pen first, okay? So here's my paper. On this paper, to make a hundreds chart, I need 110 rows and 10 columns. That means I need I'll need 11 lines going across and 11 lines going down, okay? So I wanna use the whole paper so my numbers are nice and big. So I'm gonna try my best to make these lines straight. It doesn't matter how, which way you make them, okay? We're going across, across, and we're going 
down okay so let me let me see show you how this looks okay let's try this first let's go across first okay I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to all the way to the top and just go all the way across that's one I have to make 11 of these lines okay I have to make 11 of these lines so let's try our best to do 11 that's two that's three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven so i filled out my whole sheet with vines going across eleven of those eleven lines now i have to make them going down okay i have to go go down and make eleven columns okay so let's try our best to make eleven okay i'm gonna start on one end and try and go all the way across and make sure that there's 11 only get away it's easier yeah okay, that's one two three four and they don't have to be perfect five six now i see how much space i have left i'll use the rest to finish the four more seven eight That's my 11 so that's my hundreds chart okay and you know what if you weren't able to make it exactly 11 and 11 yet turn the page over and try again and you still can't make 11 11 yet grab another piece grab another piece and try again okay I actually got lucky there I got lucky that I was able to make uh, hundreds chart right away I just try to estimate about how much space I need for each one okay now the next step we have to make this a hundreds chart by giving writing filling numbers in writing one to 100 okay so let me see if you can see this i'm going to write one on the first spot okay one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so that's the first row. That's how it should look like. Okay. And then I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going until my hundreds chart is filled up. Okay. So I want you to take some time. You can stay on, the, stay on this video and watch how I'm doing it. But you're doing it the same way. Okay. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now I go down to the next row, next row, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Okay, that's how the 20s look, okay? And slowly, slowly I'm getting there. I'm doing my 30s now, okay? just like that something like that okay doesn't have to be exact but something like that okay when you're done come back to the computer I'm gonna pause because I want to finish this chart welcome back boys and girls hopefully you're done with your hundreds chart you might want to make more than one you might want to make two or three of them so you can play the game more than one time okay so I'm done it looks just like that 
Okay, I went all the way to 100. And if you notice, it's not perfectly straight. The lines are, some lines are, are wider, some lines are a little bit more skinnier. But it's my hundreds chart. Okay, I can use it to play our game now. Okay, the next thing you need will be a die. Here's a die. Okay, um, you, if you have this, if you have one in the house, go grab it. If you don't have one in the house, that's okay. I have an option for that. Okay, so go grab this if you have it. If you don't, here is your option. Okay, go grab a deck of cards. Ask your mom or dad, do they have a deck of cards? Okay, here are, here's a deck of cards. Okay, go grab this if you have it. Okay, once you have it, come back. I want you to grab, just pull out six cards for me. We just need the numbers one, two, three, four, five, and six. We just need those numbers, okay? So I'm gonna go through this and look for those numbers and I'll hopefully you can see me looking for these numbers, okay? There's seven, I don't need seven. There's two, I do need that, okay? There's two, there's five, I'll take that. I'll put the cards I don't need away. There's a four, there's a nine, an eight, a 10, a two, a five, a nine. Okay, I don't need all these cards, a six. I'll take the six. Okay, I have four, five, six, a two, here's a three, okay, so I have these cards now that are ready to go, but I need one more, one, two, three, four, five, I need a one, I need an ace, we'll call it an ace of one because it has um, one symbol on it, so here are my six cards, I have a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six, okay, so I can use these I can use I can use those cards to play our game. Okay, um, so it's either a die or deck of cards, ace to six. If you don't have a deck of cards, that's okay. We have option three. Option three is grab a piece of paper. Okay, and we're gonna fold this. Uh, this is called hot dog style. No, wait, that's a hamburger style. Hamburger style. Okay, fold a hamburger style. Like that. Now it's folded. Okay. Hamburger style. And then the next thing to do is we have to be really careful and fold it into equal thirds. One third, one third, one third. That means it's equal in, on three different parts. So I'm going to try my best. Here's about one third. Okay. I'm going to fold it right over there. And then I'm going to fold this last part in. And it's almost equal. Very close to being equal. Very close to being super equal. Three different here we go. I have one third, one third, one third. If I open it, I have six. Now carefully tear it. I'm gonna make sure I crease this a little bit more so that when I tear it, the tear is nice and straight. Okay, here we go. Here we go, and here we go. Okay, uh, let me tear it carefully on my table so that it doesn't, uh, so it stays straight as much as I can. Okay, tear it nice and straight. Then I have three so far. One, two, three. And then let me tear this one into equal parts. That's one. Take your time. That's two and three. So I have six now. Okay, with these six pieces of paper, I'm going to write numbers on them. One, two, six. Okay? I'm going to use a pen because I don't want to use a marker because otherwise it'll show through and you'll know what the numbers are. Okay? Here's my number one. Here's two. Here's three. Here's four. Here's five. And here's six. Okay, so when you're ready, we can start playing our game. Okay, but for now, we have three things all together okay we have a hundreds chart ready to go actually me the first thing actually is our um, explanation of the game okay we need this one first this tells us what to do when we roll a certain number okay um, so we have our game sheet okay and then we have our numbers chart okay if you have the game sheet you can just use the game sheet also you don't you can use that hundred chart hundreds chart right there then we have our hundreds chart and then we have our die, okay, 
or if you don't have the die, you have your numbers, either deck of cards or your own, your own numbers. Okay, that's all we need for now. And then we'll get started with the game. Okay, so get those things ready. When you're ready, come back to the computer, um, the video, and let's play the game.